bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see from up here. The world seems small. We can sit together. It's so beautiful, you and me. We meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. It's Joyce from Morris Patch of Heaven Homestead, and today I am canning apples. We were blessed with an abundance of apples. <laughs> it was such a blessing, and also lots of huge watermelon. Check that out. Oh, my word. And oranges. So anyway, so I am trying to figure out ways to use all of these apples. So today I am going to can apples. They've been soaking in lemon juice. I'm now going to put them in the hot jars. I have the cinnamon and nutmeg um, on the stove, and that will be the brine for them. I am using the cores only for apple cider vinegar because these are not organic apples, so therefore I'm not using the skins. And also, I cut off the ends of each um, apple core just in case because <clears throat> there's skin on there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and put the apples into the jars. And I will add more as I need more once I put the brine in. This is just one way of saving your apples. We make tons of apple butter um, and applesauce. So I thought, I'm going to preserve some of the apples like this so that we can just have apple chunks or you can use them in apple bread, which is delicious if you've not tried that. And just to open a, you know, a jar, you can pound them down like this and they'll go down a little bit further. Um, just to open a jar of apples to go along with maybe a sandwich or something or for um, a fruit salad. So the options are endless. You can do whatever you want with these apples. Looks like I have a seed there. <laughs> Better cut that out. I don't think we want any seeds in our apples. Not that it would be a big deal, but... And then we can just save that because that is an inside piece of the apple. You just never really want to save um, the skin of the apples unless you know they're organic to make apple cider vinegar because all of that pesticide is going to just draw out and that's something that you'll be taking in. So you always want to make sure that your apple 
cider vinegar is organic that you buy at the store if you're making your own just use organic apples if possible and if not do it like I'm doing it just take the skin off and save the core okay so this is going to be so yummy and especially smelling the cinnamon and the nutmeg oh it feels like fall in here I love it I always that's one of the things I always look forward to every year is when um, apple season um, is here in the Midwest. I know that fall is coming and fall is my favorite time of the year. I was born in the fall and I love fall. Okay, I have a few more jars down here. I didn't realize I had quite that many apples. I have so many apples to work. I am going to be peeling what I'm going to do actually oh, didn't need this one is I'm going to um, peel all of those core them and chop them and stick them in my roasting pan that's how I do my apple um, apple butter sorry here in my face um, because then it just cooks down so amazingly and turns brown and it's beautiful and I'll add um, the cinnamon and cloves and stuff to that as well and oh my goodness Apple butter is one of those things that we have been making for years. I do it every single year. We usually give it as gifts for Christmas. Um, it's just one of our favorite. And since we were blessed with all these apples, we don't have to pick them this year. Um, and that's something that's kind of changed around here. They used to let you pick apples, but I don't think that's going to be an option this year. So the fact that we were blessed with these, even though they're store-bought, uh, it's perfectly fine. We're going to, you know, take the peel off and be able to preserve them in our roasting pan for apple butter and Stringfield Ridge. Um, Teresa did an apple jam, which I've never done before, so I'm going to be trying that. Um, but anyway, guys, this is part of our collaboration. Hashtag Let's Can. If you have not um, uh, done part of our collaboration, it is open to everyone. We would love to have you. Um, we have a whole playlist that we have put together. And there are some amazing videos, amazing ladies canning. It is awesome. I'm going to clean these even though I'm going to do it again once I put the brine in. I figure I might as well, just in case. Um, but anyway, this will be um, on the playlist. This is just very simple. It's very basic, and it's just going to go in the hot water bath canner for 15 minutes. It's not um, difficult. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait till my brine or my sugar and cinnamon is completely dissolved and then I will show you how I'm going to go ahead and put it in my jars and then we will can them up and process them. Very simple. All right. The cinnamon and sugar and nutmeg is done. Look at that. The apples, once they are canned, will take on that beautiful um, light brown color, which is amazing. And also, I was going to tell you, I am also going to be canning apple pie filling. Oh my word, yes. I already made an apple pie, I just couldn't wait. And it was so delicious. My crust is never the greatest. I do make my own crust. It is yummy, delicious, and flaky. It just isn't real pretty. My son, um, one of our sons, Clayton, is an amazing uh, baker. I think all of our kids are. They all bake really well. But he does such a beautiful job on the crust that I always feel like I can't. I don't measure up to his beautiful crust, but he takes the time and just crimps it so pretty. I'm always in such a hurry because I just want to get it in the oven so we can eat it. <laughs> but he makes beautiful, or he designs his crust very beautifully. And then cuts out little leaves, which I do too. Mine just doesn't ever look real pretty, but that's all right. It tastes good. Well, I am also going to be canning um, apple pie filling, guys. Can you believe that? Oh yeah. That way, if you ever want to make an apple pie, which I already did, <laughs> um, I couldn't stand myself. I had to do it. You can just grab a can off your shelf instead of having to run to the store. People usually say, I'm going to make apple pie. Oh, I'll just go buy a can. 
or two. No, you can do it yourself. And this way, it's already ready because that's where the work is. The work is, you know, cutting and preparing and getting the apples and all of that. If you can just grab a couple cans off, throw it in the, uh, make your pie crust, throw it in there, you're good to go. Okay, I've got these all um, filled. What do I do with my wash cloth? There we go. And I'm just going to clean the rims a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and put them, put the lids on and put them in the hot water bath canner and I'll bring you back when they are done. Okay guys, I went ahead and water bath canned the apples. They've come out, they've sat on the counter for a while. They are completely sealed and done. They look delicious. This is gonna be such a wonderful treat to have along with whatever, a sandwich. You know, this could be um, something you could add to a dessert you know this could be a dessert because it is so yummy and sweet but literally it could be added to anything you could have it with ice cream um, it is that good but anyway guys I'm going to go ahead and can um, apple pie filling as well and I'll show you how that is it's not a whole lot different than this um, except for the apples are going to be chunked up more this is more in slices so it's just yummy to have that you know, that could be with, along with your breakfast in the morning. You could have that with yogurt, um, ice cream, vanilla ice cream. The options are endless. It is absolutely delicious. And it's just another way to use up some of the apples that you might have because sometimes we can get an abundance of something and then we're like, what do we do with it? But this is just a good way to, you know, preserve the apples, put them on your shelf, use them whenever needed. Um, so anyway, uh, if you have not joined our collaboration, we have a collaboration going hashtag let's can there's a ton of videos we have a playlist um, we hope that you'll join us because the more the merrier we're hoping that maybe if we can get enough we might try to combine it and put a little cookbook together or something but that's just something we're thinking about but anyway um, I hope you enjoyed this video I hope that you'll give it a you know give it a go if you've not uh, canned before this is just water bath canning which is the simplest way to can it's just done in hot water. Uh, pressure canning, I know, is a little bit more um, labor intensive, not difficult. Um, it can be done as well. But anyway, I hope again that you will give this a try. I hope you are, are all doing well. Um, if you have not subscribed, we ask that you do, that that would really help our channel. Um, give us a thumbs up, ring that notification bell, and you'll be notified when we're doing another video. But anyway, guys, until next time, God bless you.